Hello and welcome, I'm Josh with US Cutter and in today's Quick Cuts video we're going to show you how to connect your Vinyl Cutter to your Vinyl Master software. It doesn't matter which version of Vinyl Master you are using, what I'm about to show you is the same process for each of them. The first example is going to be connecting to your cutter using a USB connection. Opening up a new document, we want to go right up to the upper toolbar and click the blade holder icon that's right here. Once in that, select the bottom option from the drop down menu and then it's going to be called the vinyl spooler. Once the vinyl spooler option has loaded, we want to move over and click the connection tab over here on the right side and this is going to open up the connection options. When installing the Vinyl Master software, it prompts you to install a cutter, but I'm just going to say that we're adding a new machine here, so I've removed everything, and so we're just going to push this plus button and select our machine from the list found here. Once the cutter driver has been installed, we want to go back to the connection menu and click the auto detect button in the settings part of the connection menu. This is going to prompt a pop-up with instructions that we need to follow. The first thing that we need to do is make sure that the machine is off and unplugged from the computer. Once this is done, click the next button and move forward. Step two is asking you to plug in the machine and power it on. And once you do this, it automatically should recognize the cutter and move to this final screen for confirmation. And you should be all done. Next, let's go ahead and show you how to connect a cutter through the network. Again, we're gonna be going to the blade holder up top and select the vinyl spooler from the drop down menu. Once inside the spooler, we're going to go back to the Connections tab, click the plus sign to add the prism cut to our list of cutters. For me, it went ahead and defaulted to the TCP option, but if yours didn't, you just need to select it from the list here. Next, we want to hit the Configure button in the Settings part of the Connection menu and type in the IP address of our cutter. On the prism cut, it's displayed across the top once you've connected to your network. I will type this in and then click test to verify that it works and I'm all done here. And that's going to be it for today's quick cut. Make sure you tune in tomorrow for our next one. We're going to be doing this all week. Have yourself a wonderful day.